EA Sports, and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Pacific Palisades, California, and historic Riviera Country Club, live second round coverage of the California Classic. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. His cushion is a full four shots as he gets set to tee off. That one looking good. It's in the fairway here to start round two. Boy, that front bunker swallows up a lot of approaches to the first, but this one landed in a great spot, and it's on the green in two. Yeah, that's a nice putt. Getting it there up the hill was half the battle. This got there just a little wide of the mark. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. And he'll move into red figures for the round at one under and 11 under for the tournament. That one gonna be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Wind coming from his right as he gets set for his second. Not quite enough on that one, but it shouldn't be too much trouble from there. You need to be very delicate on these greens, so all things considered, I think you'll take that. That finished off for par here the second, and he'll remain four clear of the field. Fairway here at three, but that'll be a great spot. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notabagay the third. And 115 yards left to the hole. Pin is in the back right corner of this green. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, man, the speed was spot on. A good putt, but nothing to show for it.
after that, safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll maintain that four-shot lead. Now nah, you figure that was left all the way. He'll wind up in the rough. Second shot now here at the par three. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Got it there, but not quite on target. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And this is going to drop that lead down to three shots. After that bogey at the last and finding the rough here, it's going to be uh, time to like have a little tap on the uh, cranium and get things in the right place. A little long as we can see and a little to the right, but uh, still makeable if you hit a good one. Look here at Birdie. Very makeable look here. Slightly down here with just a slight move from left to right. That needs to slow a bit. Okay, that, that's still going to be a good four feet though coming back. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Okay, safely aboard. Perfect there, down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And he'll move to 11 under par. This one started up the right side. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Pretty good angle here, getting set for his second shot just on the right side of that fairway.
Nice approach shot, and, and the other good thing about that, left it below the hole. Maybe a look to the heavens here. That didn't need much more. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's going to hold on to that three shot lead. Just what you want to do, land it in the fairway, get a little bit of rollout, and that is a good shot. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Yes, 120 yards left to the flag stick. The pin up front in the right-hand corner of the green. Trying to go for the right side fairway here, but this is a bit too far right, and it's going to end up in the rough. Seventeen foot putt here. for a bogey five and with it the lead is back down to one nope that wasn't the right line and he'll pay the price as this ball Gonna run off the fairway and into the bunker. That's a pretty good shot out of the fairway bunker, and it just nabs a piece of the green. Going to have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill. Lag putting such an underrated part of the game, and that is well done there. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth, and that will mean it's an even par score of 35 on this front side.
And that was flirting with disaster the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker. Mm, so hard to gauge distance control and get that ball to come out the way you want it. This one going to be in the sand again. Hmm. This is going to be equally as tough. Another try to get this up and out. Well, that is frustrating, Frank. Cannot get it out of the bunker. He's not done yet. Got to fully commit to this one as he'll try again. Okay, out of the bunker and on to the green at last. Okay, that one on line, a good putt, but it's a double bogey here at the par four. And he'll fall back to eight under par. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. 12 feet still to go. That one just gonna sneak on by. So that Rushed in for par here at 11, and he's going to remain at 8 under. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. And he is right on the number, 140 yards to the front, 151 to the hole, hole cut right in the middle. This one's looking good. And more evidence why the Corn Ferry Tour is such a great breeding ground. The iron play like that is good enough for any PGA Tour event. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And that is going to push him into the lead here on this Friday.
There's no way that ball could have gone through the tree, but somehow it did. It's finished up actually all right. And this ball, not quite going to be a G-I-R, it'll come to rest on the fringe. Well, those are the shots that turn with you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. Oh, no, I thought that was in for sure. Just a little jag right at the end going to leave it on the lip. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Okay, took on the flag there, and it's going to leave a decent look at birdie. 14 feet to the hole. Oh, the pace perfect on that one. It's in for birdie, and he's worked it to nine under par. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Now note to his second from the fairway. On the number at 150 yards to the front, 159 to the hole. Have to calculate the wind coming from right to left. Now that's a shot we can all learn from. Well thought out, pitched the ball short, saw the corridor up there, lets it bounce up on the green, and now a putt inside 10 feet. Ah, the putter on point late here in the round. Birdie's at 14 and 15, and he's opened up a two-shot lead here in round two. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Oh, needed just a little bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge.
Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And the lead's gonna remain two. That is going to wind up right down Broadway. A majestic looking tee shot there. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three-wood trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. And that's going to leave some work, but it'll end up okay. 15 feet away. that slope it is in for a birdie and he draws three shots clear on this Friday Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th at Riviera, but be mindful, you must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. I think I'll be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. So a tap in there, that's for par at the last. One final look at our leaderboard, and it shows our featured golfer clear by three at the midway point of this tournament. No doubt they're in the driving seat, but uh, you know, 36 holes left remaining, so mistakes are still in front. They have to be avoided. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay the third, and Diona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf.